Christmas. Are you going to be on your own? Because I, well, I know you've had this back injury and I was very I struck by the fact that you didn't have anyone to look after you. Well, it was very, very difficult. Um, it was at the end of the um, uh, canal trip, which I absolutely loved. And I adore that. That was with Demi McGee and Callum. all Nigel Hayes. Well, I shared with Simon Callow. How lovely. And <laughs> to see Amadeus first thing in the morning <laughs> in a black dressing gown and black socks was swipe something. <laughs> and we did, we did Aww. sleep on, on the canal. Aww. Look at him. He's the most adorable man. But, you know, uh, likes his space. Um, highly intelligent. Well, him and me, you couldn't get more chalk and cheese. <laughs> and, and is that where the, the accident happened? It happened right at the end. And um, it, you know, nobody knew it was as bad as it was. You know how you keep going and um, you're full of, you know, the yeah. thing filming. Two days later, I was, at, I was up at King's College Hospital, I cut it very short, but they only uh, do on National Health to your lumbar, punch, oh. lumbar area. And so I went on, I went to the doctors, I was on morphine and morphine patches, I was on all this and stuff. you couldn't leave the house, could you? Well, at first I kept just trudging on and going, you're not, you know, you're not hurt, you're not injured, you don't have a limp, for goodness sake, get yourself out. Then it wouldn't. I Aww. just was totally, um, I, I couldn't do a thing. And it floors you emotionally as well as physically something like that, doesn't I it? I can't tell you. Now, I didn't ask for help, but what happened is I couldn't cook, I, I couldn't shop, I couldn't get up, mm. and and I was told I went to get my own MRI. I get teary because it, it was such an awful time. Mm. It was lonely, it was frightening, and a friend of mine came. I know it's daft, isn't it? Hard, and isn't it? I tell you, I'm I'm only teary for the best reason. Okay. Because good comes out of everything. Okay. Sometimes hard to find, but. Um, it was and a neighbour, wasn't it, neighbor. who you didn't know very well, who well, stepped up. Well, my friend came down, stayed with me for four days, uh, cooked for me because I was losing weight. He then bumped into a neighbour and the neighbour said, I ain't seen that chase around, what's she up to? Because I usually <laughs> buy him a drink. And a lovely Philip and Elena, who live around the corner to me. Um, and uh, he said, well, take me back with you. I'll take the keys off if Lorraine's all right. And I will make sure I go in every day. He yeah. came in every day. Oh, he bought yeah. me breakfast, lunch and dinner. And what I've got to say is they eat a lot healthier than I there's, do. There's probably, oh, there you go. There's oh, probably a message good, here, Lorraine, there? very quickly, as well as the wet nose thing that you were talking about, is that as neighbours, we mm. should all look That's for those. Quite right. Yeah. Me. Quite right. Quite right. <laughs> Anyone can have that happen to them yes. if you can, can't yes, they? It, the it's changed my whole outlook on life. But what I would say is, okay. don't be frightened to ask your friends for help. Yeah. Great my friends message. were mortified that I didn't ask. So well, ask friends go. for help. So lovely to have you here, right?